Welcome internet nerds, my name is Solo, and today I'm bringing you guys another video on the Marvel event Secret Empire. So recently, issue number zero dropped to Secret Empire, and I did a review and recap on that, which will be linked down in the description below. Uh, but with that issue came a lot of hype, and as well as big shoes to fill for the next upcoming issues. Uh, so issue one did drop today, and I was going to do another review and recap on that issue, so without further ado, let's jump right in. So this issue starts off with a bit of a time skip in between. I do believe a few months have passed since issue zero, and we do see two brothers sitting in front of a school. Uh, the younger brother goes into his school, and instead of seeing something practical, such as the Pledge of Allegiance or something else going on, all the kids stand up, put their arms in the air, and scream, Hail Hydra, showing us that at the end of issue zero, where Captain America is hovering over the White House, it tells us that he was actually able to succeed in taking over the United States of America, and is working on global domination. Uh, so then we jump back to the older brother, and we find out that he is actually an inhuman. Uh, and in the process of finding this out, Hydra busts down his door and they arrest him, uh, which tells me that anyone that's got powers, anyone that can stand a chance against hurting Captain America's cause or just creating a problem is being arrested and executed. And we do also have another skip towards Captain Marvel, and we see that she is still stuck up in space as well as the other heroes that were up there with her, and this time she's sending out a distress call, just telling us, hey, Captain America is doing all these terrible things, we are stuck up here, we are going to die, we need assistance, and we also need the people down on Earth that haven't realized what's going on yet, you are now being controlled by Captain America. The Captain America is now an agent of Hydra, and he is going to be the downfall of us all. Jumping ahead, we're introduced to a young boy by the name Ray Sean. Uh, Ray Sean actually has a flash drive on him that was given to him by Rick Jones, and he's trying to find anyone left in the superhero community that isn't working with Hydra or Captain America. Uh, and in the process of being hunted down by these Hydra agents, he's met by Amadeus Cho, aka the Totally Awesome Hulk, and the other champions, who do save him and take him back to their headquarters called the Underground. So as all this is going on with the champions and Ray Sean, we're shown that Captain America is currently in Denver, Colorado, and he's walking around and apparently he's talking to some giant monster. I'm not sure if this monster has a specific name or if it's just a random monster wandering around, uh, but Cap ends up telling the Avengers to assemble, meaning that he does still currently have control over some form of an Avengers group. Uh, and he is apparently still trusted by these characters because we're seeing that characters such as the Vision, Odinson, as well as Deadpool are still working with Steve. So that kind of to me doesn't exactly seem if they're in the right state of mind. I don't believe that they're being controlled, but I do believe that they just believe in what Captain America is saying and doing. Ultimately, he's not the bad guy. He's Captain America. Whatever he's planning to do, he is doing it with good intentions. Once in the underground, we do see Ray Sean talking with both Black Widow and Hawkeye about his current situation, explaining to him that Rick Jones was the one that gave him this flash drive, and just giving them the brief idea that he doesn't know what's on it, but it can take down Steve. Uh, so in the process of all this, they tell him to go speak to, quote-unquote, the drunk. And ironically, the drunk is the AI version of Tony Stark. Uh, he goes to Tony, and Tony at first doesn't really want to hear this kid out. He doesn't really want to believe him. He's just telling him that we're trying to survive nowadays. We really don't believe that there is one single way to take down Cat right now. Uh, he was my friend at one point in time, but right now we're just trying to survive. Right now the superhero community, we're not superheroes. We're just people that are trying to do the right thing and protect people from Cap. Uh, so he ends up taking this flash drive and throwing it into his, quote, Thursday pile because he'll get to it later on when he doesn't have distractions, but again, distractions may come. Tony does also elaborate to Ray Sean about some of the things that have gone on. Him and his team have gone after Captain America thinking different things, and maybe he was being mind controlled, maybe he was a clone. And in both situations, they've had heavy casualties on their side, meaning that the resistance that is left is really all that's left, and it's a small number of people. There are really no superheroes that are left besides the young champions and some of the older characters, such as Black Widow and Hawkeye, that are more or less just the leaders that are left there to try. To hope and pray that by keep on doing what they're doing, they can get supplies, they can survive a little bit longer until maybe, just maybe, some kind of plan and or development comes to helping them take down Cap. So we jump back to Captain America, and he's now going to talk to someone that he hasn't spoken to in a little while, and that's going to be Rick Jones. Rick is currently in his cell, talking to himself, singing music aloud, and he does have a conversation with Captain America, and Cap wants him to not be executed for what he's done. Uh, he wants him to just admit that he was wrong, give his life for Hydra, and just say the words, Hail Hydra. Uh, but Rick decides to refuse and just says, Avengers Assemble, and he tells Steve that you're not the Steve that I knew. Captain America is my hero. Captain America is a good guy. Right now, you working with Hydra, this isn't real. You are not Captain America. I don't care what you have to say. There's just nothing that screams right or yes about what's going on right now. And unfortunately, with those last decisions, they do have to make an example of someone, so towards the end of the issue, we do see Rick Jones is taken out, and he is executed for the things that he has done. I do believe that, personally, he will come back at some point, uh, but for right now, they're trying to show that no one is really safe. Rick Jones has been, between the two Captain America comics, a pretty important character, so seeing him gunned down for his crime of simply just giving a flash drive on how to stop Steve is pretty drastic in my opinion. 
And the last thing we do see after Rick Jones' execution is a mothership, more or less, or a few different motherships that are controlled by Hydra, and they start to shoot down lasers onto a city. I do believe that the city is New York. Again, this one could be on Denver. They don't really say which city. Uh, but now Cap is showing that, hey, for all of you out there that are going to be fighting against us, the underground, any resistance groups, anyone that's in hiding, we will come for you. We will take you down. Even the most bravest soldiers tried to fight against me have failed. So there is no one left that can really stop him. And in the process, he decides to blow up a city. And that is going to be it for issue number one of Secret Empire. Uh, so real quick, I did want to say that there were a lot of political scenes in this book where they basically were sitting down, Cap and the members of Hydra, and they're talking about all the things going on. They're talking about all the rebellious groups out there, the underground, talking about how to make an example of these people that are creating problems and now having videos shown of the heroes trying to do heroic things now on YouTube and stuff like that. And they're trying to figure out how to handle these situations. Uh, so I did cut some of that out just because really it didn't advance the story in any way shape or form uh, but this issue to me was a little bit slow in some parts a little bit fast paced in some that really should have been a little bit more drawn out uh, but we were able to see in just a short amount of time Captain America was able to do what a lot of villains have tried but failed at doing he was able to take over the world uh, we've seen kids in classrooms now screaming Hail Hydra. They were also trying to teach the kids, you know, that, hey, the things that you thought you knew, those are wrong. Those were history being altered by the Cosmic Cube. Uh, so it's kind of drawing a really thin line on what's reality and what's not reality. What is real, what is not real in the Marvel Universe. And it makes you think, it also kind of confuses you a lot, but... It is trying to set up, I feel like, for the upcoming uh, Rebirth almost event for Marvel. Uh, so I'm not complaining in that aspect. You know, if it fixes itself, hey, that's good. Give us a last good Big Bang kind of a story to go out on, and I'm cool with that. I don't care if they even kill Cap at this point because it's becoming, you know, a really high-stakes game. I mean, we see people like Hawkeye who, in Civil War II, recently was charged with murder, and now he is free, of course, and is now leading the resistance against Captain America. So we're seeing people take on bigger roles in themselves. We're seeing characters develop in ways that haven't really been seen in just the solo books uh, so seeing them come together in a bigger story that's also bigger than themselves and handling an issue such as Captain America being the bad guy it's honestly pretty cool so overall I'd say this was a good issue it did have some problems here and there but so did issue number zero I'd probably say that I'd give this one about an 8.5 out of 10 uh, normally I don't like to rate my comics on scales like that but when it comes to something like this because of how Marvel has handled their things recently I'll give it a bit of a rating uh, normally I wouldn't but right now I will and overall, I really can't wait to see what happens next. Seeing now these Avenger teams that they have, like I said, with Odinson, Deadpool, and some big-name characters on this roster, it is kind of interesting to see where do their faiths and trust lie? Do they lie in what's doing what's right? Or do they lie in what's going with, you know, do they just want to follow Captain America? Do they just want to follow the one guy that, hey, he's never done wrong to me yet? And then they're ultimately going to have to eat those words whenever he does go and do something bad to them because apparently there have been some things going around online with the free comic book day issue. Have heard how it ends. I'm not going to say anything yet, but whenever it does come out, I'll do a review and recap on it as well. But I do want to see how the tables are going to turn on all the heroes because this is kind of a Civil War II almost. I do feel like there's going to be some hero versus hero, but it's on a grander scale. It's going to be something that whenever, you know, the ending comes, no one's going to be expecting it, and it's going to be hard to recover from. So that's going to be my review and recap on issue number one of Secret Empire. What did you guys think? Leave some comments down below. Tell me, did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, elaborate on the story for me. Maybe there's some stuff I missed out that just went right over my head. Just let me know what you guys think. So my name is Solo. I am signing out. I will catch you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day.